objectives for today will be to differentiate between some singular and plural nouns. Two, agree between the subject and the verb in a sentence. First, read the following nouns and classify them into singulars and plurals. Book girl teachers bag students. Book girl and bag are singular nouns. While teachers and students are plural nouns. Now. the nouns in the following sentences into singulars and plurals. The team is working hard. The team have different point of views. The scissors are too dangerous. My pants were stolen. Water is a precious mineral. Mathematics is a hard subject. Three hours is the time needed from Sahida to Tripoli. Team in sentence one is considered as singular, while team in sentence two is considered plural. Water, mathematics and three hours are singular nouns. Scissors and pants are plural. Rule says Collective nouns such as team, group, orchestra, band, daughter, considered as singular if they are working as a unit. However, if they are working individually, they are considered plural. The uncountable nouns such as scissors, pants, glasses, shoes, socks are always considered as plural because they are formed of two parts.
Uncountable nouns like water, food, fish, sheep, money are always considered as singulars. The words ending with an S, such as mathematics, physics, economics, are always considered as singulars. Second, observe the following quantitative subjects and tell whether they are considered as singulars or plurals. Half of the pie was eaten by Sammy. Half of the pies were eaten by Sammy. Most of the book is read. Most of the books are read. Three hours is the time needed from Lebanon to Ukraine. Five dollars is the price of this shirt. Half of the pie is considered singular. While half of the pies is considered plural. Most of the book is considered singular. However, most of the books is considered plural. Three hours and five dollars are considered singulars. The rule says quantitative nouns such as half, most, some, all of, quarter could be considered singulars or plurals. This depends on the noun following them. If the noun following is singular, it will be considered as singular. Half of the pie. If the noun following it is plural, it will be considered as plural. Half of the pies. When talking about the price, a period of time or a distance, They are considered as one, so they are considered as singulars. Using the correlative conjunctions. Either, or neither, dot, nor. Either Ahmad or his friend is sick. Either Ahmad or his friends are sick. 
One, neither the girl nor her sister loves chocolate. Two, neither the girl nor her sisters love chocolate. Rule. When using the correlative conjunctions neither, dot, nor, either, or, the nouns following, nor, and, or, determines whether the subject is singular or plural. If nor, or, or, are followed by a singular noun, the subject is said to be singular, neither the friends nor the boy. If they are followed by plural nouns, the subject is said to be plural, either Ahmad or his friends. The indefinite pronouns. The indefinite pronouns, anyone, everyone, someone, no one, nobody, are always considered as singulars. Someone is talking, using here and there, there. One student in the classroom. There are many cats in the backyard. Here is my book. Here are my books. The rule says, when using here and there in a sentence, they are considered singular or plural based on the noun following them. When you are using a sing subject, S is added to the present simple tense verb, while when you are using a plural subject, nothing is added to the present simple tense. Is is used a present helping verb when the subject is singular. Er is used a present helping verb when the subject is plural. Was is used as a past helping verb when the subject is singular. But, were is used as a past helping verb when the subject is plural. Has comes with singular subject. Whereas, have comes with the plural subject. Let's practice the agreement between the subject and the verb. For each of the following, choose the sentence in which the subject and verb agree.
Carlos is the only one of those students who blank lived up to the potential described in the yearbook. Nobody wears their uniform. Using the correlative conjunction. The subject is Carlos, so it is singular taking has. 2. The International Club, as well as the Choral Society and the Rowing Club, blank, to submit a new constitution. The subject here is the International Club, which is singular taking needs. 3. One of my best friends, blank, an extra on Seinfeld this week. The main subject is one and one is singular, so it comes with is. 4. Not only the students but also their instructor, blank, been called to the principal's office. Not only and also are correlative conjunctions. So the main subject is subject to which is their instructor. Their instructor is singular. It takes has. 5. Most of the milk, blank, gone bad. 6 gallons of milk, blank, still in the refrigerator. Bottom of form. In this sentence the main subject is milk which is singular taking has. But dot six gallons of milk is plural, so it takes her. Six. Each and every student and instructor in this building, blank, for a new facility by next year. When there is each and every, the subject is said to be singular. So it takes hopes. Seven. A large number of voters still, blank, along straight party lines. The main subject here is voters, which is plural. It takes her. Eight. Four years blank, a long time to spend away from your friends and family. Four years is a period of time. It is considered as singular. It takes is. Dot. Politics blank, sometimes a dirty business. Politics is a singular noun ending with s. It takes is. There blank, underscore monkeys in the cage. There depends on the noun following it which is monkeys. It is plural and it takes her.